Okay. My Manjaro struggles this past week was on a whole new level. Today we are going to talk about what happened and how I'm going to bounce back and I know I will bounce back. Hey everybody, I'm Jen and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thanks for checking out my video today. Um, let's chat about how everything that could have gone wrong went wrong all last week. I mean from side effects to no desire to eat, nothing looked appetizing to body dysmorphia and sleep was at an all time low. I'm overwhelmed just giving that a high level recap, but uh, but if I'm going to show you all my successes over the past 15 months and losing 84 pounds, then I think it's important to talk about really what happened last week. It's time to get real with all of you today, so let's get into it. Right now, I currently take 10 milligrams of Manjaro on Saturdays. Um, and I've also talked about the importance of watching what you eat, you know, the day of and the following two days, you know, mainly protein focused and also just staying hydrated. So even though my shot day started just like any other Saturday, you know, with my water and my electrolytes, that was probably the last thing I did right that day. Um, I went on a 2.2, I think it was 2.2 mile walk outside prior to eating. I came back, I chugged my protein shake, I showered, and then I just hit the ground running. You know, I had a couple errands that I wanted to run, and then, you know, it was about three o'clock, and I decided to pick up Chick-fil-A on the way home. And I wanted something quick, didn't want to think about it, but because I didn't eat anything since my protein coffee, I skipped my usual kid's meal for now an eight piece nugget, large fry and small root beer. Oh, and I also got an ice cream cone, um, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with Chick-fil-A, but for me on shot day, I know to avoid high fat foods, but I was busy and I just wasn't thinking. Um, I also did not keep up with my hydration and my protein was kind of low that day. You know, I take my shot on Saturdays, like I said, usually around four o'clock and then I did some organizing, you know, around the condo and I settled down around nine. I didn't eat anything else. Um, then that night, I tossed and turned the entire night. I felt so tired, but I just couldn't fall asleep. Um, and this was kind of a different restless because my mind wasn't keeping me awake. I just couldn't fall asleep. Um, I think I got maybe an hour max of sleep and I am not exaggerating. Um, so. Now I wake up Sunday morning, I'm exhausted. Usually day after shot, I wake up with some energy, which is, you know, weird, but that's what it's been for months. And then it typically tapers off late afternoon. Also, I tend to just do a light workout like walking and then I followed up with some stretching on Sundays, but nope, not this Sunday. Uh, even though I was, you know, fighting off that fatigue, I had a million things that I needed to do that day. And once again, it was another go, go, go from the moment I got up. You know, similar to Saturday, had my water and electrolytes, and then I went on a long 2.5 mile walk, came back, had my protein coffee. Then I cleaned the entire condo because, you know, I had people coming over for dinner, you know, the following night, Monday night. Then I ran to the food store, took Rosie on her walk. Then I stopped at a couple more stores because, you know, I needed to just go pick up a couple things and it was local. So I put Rosie in the stroller so she could join me. Um, and if you have a friend, you would understand the stroller. Um, then my sister, you know, and one of her dogs stopped over for just like a puppy play date. And then we did some training with them. I had no appetite at all that day. And honestly, I didn't eat anything since my protein coffee again. And now it's 5 p.m. and I want nothing. I think I opened my fridge and freezer 10 times just to stare in. I had no appetite, but I, I knew I needed to eat something. I was also still so tired and I didn't feel like cooking. Um, and even though I just stocked up at the food store of all my favorite foods, you know, I just didn't want any of it. So I used my free sandwich coupon at Mission Barbecue and terrible. Got a brisket sandwich with fries. Um, yep, didn't realize that was the next day, two days straight of having fries. And I just wasn't myself. Like my brain stopped working and all those healthy habits went out the window. Plus, Everything I preach about in my videos that I swear by apparently no longer applied to me that weekend. Um, you would think it would only just get better from there, but no, it didn't. I had another terrible night of sleep Sunday into Monday. 
And then that morning, I had a whole new level of fatigue that hit me. Um, then while drinking my protein coffee, I felt like I was going to throw up. And, you know, because I was making a slightly bigger dinner that night, because I had friends coming over, I decided just to have a light snack to tide me over. Plus, I was still just like disgusted with all the food around me. Um, I still went another long walk. Then I did some upper body exercises and then I got lightheaded because it was humid out and I wasn't hydrated and eating. Um, and you know, I think I consumed maybe 400 calories so far. I just, I came back and I chugged water and you know, just was like, calm down. But the stress just elevated from there. And you know, I, this is something I couldn't control, but we had an unfortunate situation at work where I had to say goodbye to some close colleagues. And then I was in the meetings all afternoon about what happened and why, and it just didn't get easier. But then like, I couldn't just relax and just sulk, you know, after my last meeting, I had, cause I was having friends coming over for dinner and I just kept pushing through. And about halfway through, I got a severe headache and all I wanted to do was go to bed. And then I was force feeding myself dinner because I didn't want to let them know I was struggling that day. And, you know, I just, I, I was so nauseous the entire night afterwards. Now you would think that night I would have passed out finally and, and sleep, but nope, another restless night. And that was the theme for all of that week. I had trouble sleeping until maybe Thursday night where I got about four hours of sleep that night, which is still terrible, but it's still better than one. Um, and I had almost complete appetite suppression the entire week. But the difference was that in the past, I could still eat, but not this week. Everything that I have loved made me nauseous. I had dry mouth. Um, I had still that major fatigue and I could just couldn't keep my eyes open. Um, and then I was starting to question if maybe my dose was too high, you know, even though I dropped down to 10 over two weeks ago, and that was my third one. Um, it wasn't new to my system, but I was questioning everything. Oh, and my scalp was itchy. Like I just wanted to scratch the top of my head all afternoon. And that lasted a couple hours. And then it just went away out of the blue, like no change in products at all. Um, and I say, can you comment below if you've had any like weird side effects while taking Manjaro, you know, Ozempic, Zepbound, Wagovi. Um, itchy scalp was a new one for me. I have no idea what that was about. But once again, I just tried to push through because I had a lot of work to do. I had a lot of projects and meetings and then something I have never experienced happened. And I was, when I was just shooting some like small clips for a future video, I took a video of myself, you know, just sitting on the couch at a nice little angle, reading a book with my dog next to me. And then when I played back that video and I was watching it, I was like, oh, look at my stomach roll, double chin, puffy face. And I felt like I didn't, didn't even like lose weight at all. Now, keep in mind, I was wearing a new top I just picked up from Athleta in a size large, and I could have done a medium. And I just had an all-time low weigh-in on the scale a couple days prior. Like a number I haven't seen since high school. But here I am on the verge of just tears. And I'm not a crier. The running joke with all my friends is that I literally have one feeling and it rarely gets hurt. So I just, I remember texting my sister and saying, I am having a moment. And all I wanted to do was just run down the street and get some candy because I was just feeling sorry for myself. I couldn't understand what was going on. You know, she gave me some solid advice and just said, stop what you're doing and just relax. Don't do anything else. Don't worry about your walk. Don't worry about your gym session. Just sit down and do nothing. And so that's what I did until I went to bed. I think my body was telling me something and I ignored all of the signs. You know, I deviated from what I've known to work the past 15 months. And I say, let me know in the comments if you've missed any cues along your weight loss journey and if you had to take a step back and just do a reset. Um, I know I just started a 60 day challenge and I'm continuing on that plan I created because it is fun. Um, but this weekend I'm doing a complete reset. Um, and that doesn't mean I won't eat healthy or work out. Um, 
I'll just make a list of things to do just to take care of myself that weekend. It's not only physically, but also mentally. And because I don't do reset day at home because I'm very high maintenance, um, I'm hopping in a car and I'm driving to the beach just for a long weekend. And I am just going to relax and do a couple things. And I'm hoping to maybe shoot a video from there of what I planned, you know, for my reset weekend and just to get myself back on track. Um, I have to understand that there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, you know, in the next phase as I inch closer to my goal weight and that I have never really been on a weight loss journey this long. But even with everything that happened, I have to keep trying to show up for myself because I worked too hard to let a bad week turn into a month, then turns into three months, the next thing you know, a year and a lot of regrets. Oh, and I decided to not get on a scale for my weekly weigh-in. Good or bad, I didn't want to know that number because I didn't know how it was going to affect me. Um, because I also knew most likely I gained a pound or two from the stress and unhealthy eating and just lack of sleep. And that's okay, you know, if I did. But my mental state at the time, there was no way that I just needed to weigh in. So I just didn't do it. And, and it was no longer about that number on the scale, but more about how I can just bounce back. Um, I also decided to pick up a magnesium powder from Thorn Supplements to, people keep telling me about it, but um, you just take it before bed. I'll keep you post if it helps. I've read so much about this dual action magnesium that I thought after these months of just not so great sleeping and everybody telling me to get it, thought it was time to finally try. And I'm not somebody to run out and just buy supplements for everything that doesn't go you know, my way while trying to lose weight, but Sleep is extremely important, and I think it's actually more important than healthy eating and working out. And when I said I didn't care how long it would take to improve my sleep, I meant it. Um, so there you have it. <laughs> what a week. Um, I'm ready to learn from my mistakes and move on. Um, after 15 months, I guess, you know, I was bound, it was bound to happen, and I'm happy I didn't do anything major to jeopardize, you know, my healthy habits that I've established. And, and as long as I could just stay positive, realize where I went wrong, I know I'll be back in a positive direction in my weight loss journey. And just maybe, like I said before, 10 milligrams might be a little bit too high for me and I might have to drop down. But I feel like I'm just going to put everything on the table to discuss with my doctor at our follow up in two weeks. But, you know, I thank you. I thank you for, you know, making this far in the video, for listening to my rambling and my hot mess of a week. You know, I'm far from perfect and no weight loss journey is complete without a few bumps in the road. How I respond will be the key to my success moving forward. And I'm just on this journey with no end in sight and just need, like I said before, to stay positive, take it day by day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to continue to be honest and show all sides of my weight loss journey to you all, um, the good and the bad. And I say, please don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.